I've seen a miracle. I've seen a miracle. Good morning, beautiful people. Welcome back to Liu. Live everything in wonder. And welcome back to Lucky Land. Lucky Land has been covered in snow for the past few days. Sometimes it's snowing, sometimes the sun comes out or the temperature rises and uh, it melts, uh, then it snows again. Tonight uh, uh, the forecast is that it will snow again. Yeah, it's, it's one of the biggest snowfall, snowstorm that we have in Italy. Like in South Tyrol, where my father lives, they have two meters of snow. I know that a lot of you think about Italy just, you know, the south of Italy, sunny and cozy and warm, but this is also Italy with a lot of snow. Italy is a really an interesting country because uh, there is a, a really, really, really long coastline, but at the same time we have high mountains. Uh, so even in the south of Italy, we can get snow in the mountains. Uh, and yeah. then uh, in 15, 20, 30 minutes you get at the beach. Uh, so interesting country that was amazing to discover during uh, last summer. I love when it's snowing, especially when the snow falls, but I hate the cold weather. Winter hit us really fast this year and intense, severe, but luckily Luca received a gift yesterday. <laughs> I'm super excited. Finally, we got the new chainsaw electric uh, with two batteries uh, and uh, thank you very much this is a gift uh, from Rodney so thanks Rodney and uh, let's go outside and uh, see how it works Luca is so excited he couldn't sleep last night because the chainsaw arrived yesterday first thing this morning he said you know we need to try we need to try the chainsaw I'm so excited so now finally Yes, I'm, I'm uh, super excited because it's not snowing uh, so we can work outside. This morning I wake her up really early. <laughs> yeah, it's not snowing but it's freaky cold outside. <laughs> so the first tree we're going to cut is the um, bay tree. That it's growing, 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 growing. It's dangerous because it, for some reason for the heavy snow it will fall down could generate some some problems. We will cut it, we will leave in our firewood shed so it could dry for two, three years. Okay, Sarah, you read the, the instructions and I... <laughs> and you listen. And, and I listen, I install it. <laughs> this is always my job, reading the instruction. Let me know in the comments if you girls, you need to read your, the instructions for, for your love if this is common. It should not be so difficult. There is nothing to read actually, just to look at the images. That's why I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> this morning there were two deers just in front of us. were the same that we kept seeing this summer, mother and the son, the mother and the cub. Okay, this is the bay tree, we show you already, you see it's so tall. Yeah, some branches. 
Luca, yeah. you will be careful, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to cut both of them? Only these two. We will leave all the these three ones. They are a small one, but this one, as you can see, there is a the fence here. Yeah. And then the property of the neighbor. <laughs> they are already starting to bend uh, that way. Yeah. The bay tree is not a dangerous tree because it's dangerous by itself, but because it could fall. In our case, it's dangerous. Not noisy at all. Cool. I like it. <laughs> She's still. She stole my, my little game. That's fantastic. I love the fact that you cannot smell the gas. I hate it because it gives me some nausea. This one is silent. I love it. Yeah, but this is mine. Yeah, it's also mine a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, it's time to go up there. No way, it's stuck. It's stuck up there. Oh no. Ah, oh, guys. Yeah. hard. It's time to cut it. Only little pieces. Wow. Nice job, Sara. Well done. Okay. Nice. We could sell bay leaves forever. Yeah. Look at that, guys. The amount 
of bay. Hello beautiful people, today in Yu's kitchen uh, we will be preparing a soft uh, focaccia. So you usually like to see these videos because Sarah is beautiful making all this stuff but today I'm stealing the show. The ingredients for the soft focaccia are 500 grams of uh, zero zero flour, 4 grams of uh, fresh uh, yeast, 20 grams of extra virgin olive oil, 5 grams of salt and 300 grams of the room temperature water. Good job, you are stealing my job. Well done! <laughs> First of all, we will melt the fresh yeast. The fresh yeast into the water. It has to be completely melted as uh, Sarah Masterchef uh, suggested. suggested. While your assistant uh, is uh, <laughs> melting, <laughs> she will kill me for this. No way. <laughs> okay. I love you in the chef position. So when the chef <laughs> position, when the <laughs> chef uh, is melting, the assistant uh, will put all the flour. No, you are the chef today. I'm the assistant. Okay. <laughs> So let's put the flour into the bowl. Mm -hmm. Luca will do everything handmade. If you have something that could... If you have the machine that makes all the dirt job, uh, you can use that. Otherwise, uh, you just use uh, your hands uh, or your husband's hands. <laughs> Done. Okay. Can I give you just a tip? Yes. Instead of putting all your hands inside, yeah. use your fingers first first for a while, yeah. like a machine, okay. without touching with your palm. Okay. And the okay. water, should I make a hole, like a vulcano? As, or? You, as you prefer. Okay, let's go like this. Mm -hmm. And you, with the other hands, you... Okay. It's totally fine, guys, if the dough will be sticky, should be sticky. Oh, wow, the trick, uh, it's working. If you just use your fingers uh, for the moment... Uh, it's better. It's better. Right? It doesn't get all sticky in your, in your hand. Uh, so now we will add uh, 5 grams of salt. Uh, Like this. And I will help you with the oil because you need to add this slowly, slowly. Okay. You ready? Go. We say a filo. And a filo is, uh, is literally a wire. So we say like uh, add oil uh, like a wire. Wow. You're really good, Luca. You need to work the dough for 15 minutes at least. You guys see that it's sticky? And this is the way it should be. Okay, now we will let it rest for two hours. After two hours, it's time to put the dough into this oven pan. First of all, we need to put the extra virgin olive oil like this. Let's spread the oil. Okay, now we cover it again. And, it and we will let it rest for one hour more. Yes. Since we will turn on the oven, we also made some bread. This is the classic bread and this one is with uh, sunflower seeds. It's extra virgin white bread. 
the dough is the same and we add here the seeds. We need to let the rest these also for another hour. So they will raise and get bigger and bigger and bigger. Let's go out there. There's no. And uh, let's bring this with me. So what I'm going to do is to clean up here because uh, we have Sarah's car over there and it's better if I clean here so if any emergency happens uh, during the night or in the next days it's better to have at least this part clean so can go away easily. I will just put the camera here. Done. In a bowl we put 30 milliliters of extra virgin olive oil and 15 milliliters of water all together and we mix it. And then we need a lot of rosemary. Fresh will be better. After one hour we are back. Wow. So first of all you do like this with your fingers and you create some holes. Last but really, really important step. We complete our focaccia with some fresh rosemary and some salt. And now it's time to put it in the oven for 40 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius. Bye bye! See you in a bit! Ciao! Wow, wow, wow! Wow, wow, wow! So the focaccia should be eaten hot. 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 Beautiful, look at that. Delicious, guys. Wow. Delicious, molto buona. Guys, this is perfection. Mm. Mm. Good job, Chef Luca. Mm -hmm. Nice bread, nice focaccia. Crunchy outside and soft inside. Beautiful.
kitchen is a kind of garden laboratory right now. Yeah. With yeah. plants, seeds everywhere. Orange peel fire starter. But Luca is excited. Why? Explain us why. When we were in our Italian tour, van tour, we collect some uh, pine nuts. And as you can see now, we put the pine nuts uh, about uh, four or five days ago with um, wet uh, paper in this Tupperware. And as you can see now, the plants are starting to grow. So I want to plant them uh, in the soil. And we don't have pine nuts, pines here in the forest. Yes, we only have this trees that they don't do the pine nuts that it's what we love yes so we will try to to grow these ones the tree that we cut is here and also here so we can easily have our trail our path clear these are some branches and here is the bay what are we going to do with this i think we will make compost though okay uh, with this and uh, so we still that big piece uh, mm -hmm. i wasn't able to, it's too heavy so yeah. today we need to cut it in uh, in pieces yeah so let's do that so i will be able to bring it on our property because uh, we cannot leave it there it will snow tonight and uh, it will get covered so let's do it now okay luca needs to cut now this big trunk I will measure it this size. This is almost 35 centimeters because this is the right size that could fit in our wood shed and also it would be easy to put everything in the fireplace. Like butter. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I can see Luca flying over the fence. Our neighbor's property is clean. Good. And they have a little bit more view right now. Now we need to cut all that. Yesterday it was San Nicolaus, the 6th of December and in South Tyrol it's part of our tradition that we celebrate that day. We wait for San Nicolaus on San Nicolas Eve, that is the 5th of December and I was, I felt a little bit sad because I know that this year I'm in Italy but I will not be able to see my family because they are far, they are in different regions and the law is not permitting us to move outside the Piedmont region. I thought about it and I say, I don't need to be sad. Um, this year is difficult for everyone and we need to adapt to the situation. I thought that we are healthy I'm together with Luca, my family is healthy, everyone is healthy. So I felt really grateful for, for that. Probably we'll be able to celebrate with all of you and with Luca's family. We have two batteries, right? Yes, and uh, we just finished the first battery that I've been using uh, this morning. I would say that uh, if you use it without stopping, so chopping, 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 chopping. Uh, it get 
work about 45 minutes mm -hmm. and uh, we have the little one uh, 2 ampere, ampere so they have bigger ones uh, so I will get the new one and I will finish cutting all this wood you have two batteries uh, you just uh, use one and charge the other one uh, while charging uh, the other one you use one and charge the other one okay beautiful people this is the amount of wood I've been able to cut today I'm super super happy with the electric chainsaw and by the way it's not a sponsor we tried to contact many companies uh, several times uh, we didn't have any reply but we will decide which one we want to keep uh, and make them grow big these ones are getting really really tall probably we will have to just cut a little bit uh, up there so they grow on the sides and not on the height yeah i'm quite freezing i'm super happy about what we accomplished today now we have to go and buy some groceries so let's go before it will start snowing again we will go and buy some grocery food some food oh. I think we have one hour maximum one hour two hours it's one degree Celsius if the temperature will drop just a little bit it will start snowing ciao lucky land see you soon I caught you Questa o questa? Questa mi piace. Questa? In case you were wondering how many parmesan we have. <laughs> Luca is choosing. This is the outside part of the parmesan, yeah. the, the crust. We use it to, to put it in the soup. Mm -hmm. We are not used to see people, so every time we come to a store it's so strange so weird to see other people yeah. coming close to you i think this is the fear of 2020 we are filling up our car christmas spirit christmas spirit mission accomplished Done. we have food <laughs> now it's dark outside we'll go back to lucky land Good evening beautiful people, we are back home at Lucky Land and we are in front of the fireplace, our favorite spot of the house right now. We hope you enjoyed today's episode and we are thinking about making a live stream on Sunday the 20th of December. Let us know what do you think in the comments, if you are available, if you would like to chat and celebrate with us this Christmas. If you enjoyed today's episode, please share to us and smashing the thumbs up button. Hit the notification bell so you won't miss a video. And please consider to subscribe to this YouTube channel if you haven't done already. It's the easiest way to help us out. The Italian words for today's video are... Motosega. Censo. Ricetta. Recipe. Mi piaci tu. I like you. Motosega. Censo. Ricetta. Recipe. Mi piaci tu. I like you. We love you, we appreciate you, thank you for coming along with us. And remember, la vita è bella. Life is beautiful. See you on the next one. Ciao! So beautiful people, today in a huge kitchen. So, the ingredients for today's... Uh, ingredients? No. Uh, high mountains. So even... Eh? Welcome back to Liu. The high. And please consider veloce, più veloce. The ingredients uh, for the soft focaccia into this uh, teglia oven. <laughs> and now it's put, it's time to put it in the oven uh, at uh, 200. Uh, and per quanto tempo? 40 minutes. Censo. Where is the car now? Are you? Little yo.
old farewell mm-hmm. By the beauty of your life 